Hi guys, welcome back. This is Mass 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to check if a triangle is a right angle triangle if you're given three side lengths of the triangle. Okay, and the way you do this question is to do Pythagoras because Pythagoras will only work in right angle triangles. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. So does this triangle contain a right angle? Okay, so we've got the two sides, 3, 4, and this side here is 5, so that's your longest side, okay? So what we're going to do then is just ignore that 5, the longest side. So let's just ignore that for the time being. And we're actually going to work out what this side would be. Okay, doing Pythagoras. So if we go 3 squared... So 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which is 16. So we're working out the longest side, so we're going to add these squares together. So 16 add 9 is 25. And then our final step is to square root 25. So square root of 25 is 5 so as you can see it's come out to the hypotenuse which is 5 so it looks like this is a right angle triangle because it's given us the hypotenuse so I'm just going to put a little comment on the side of the page so since um, the hypotenuse is 5 centimeters after using Pythagoras then the triangle is right angled okay so let's have a look at one more example then so our second example we've got a triangle which is three six and seven so again, is this triangle right angled? Okay, so again, we just ignore the hypotenuse of 7. So we ignore that one. And we're just going to work out what it would be if the other two sides are 3 and 6. So again, if we square the sides, so 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. So if we add these together, because we're working out the longest side, that's 45. And then we need to square root that answer. So 45 is not a square number. So let's just do that on the calculator. So the square root of 45 is 6.71. So this hasn't come out to the hypotenuse which was 7 okay so since this is not the same as 7 this would not be a right angle triangle so again let's just uh, write a comment on that so since uh, the hypotenuse came out as 6.71 not 7 after using Pythagoras, uh, then the triangle is not right angled. Then the triangle is not right angled. Okay, so that is all you have to do then to prove if a triangle contains a right angle so i hope you liked this video if you did like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye